Hi everyone, Greg Wilkins here on Tuesday, September 2nd, 2020 for today's edition of the Song of the Day. Joseph and Charles Bruckenmeyer. They're cousins that grew up together and they grew up like brothers. Those two and their wives were frustrated with the fact that in their town, all the fancy restaurants didn't serve breakfast and their prices were so high. So they decided to join together in order to open up their own restaurant. The first few months were fantastic. Word of mouth got around and everybody was enjoying not only breakfast, but lunch and dinner there at affordable prices. And they were just making hand over fists. The investors that came in were satisfied and everybody was great. The other restaurants in the town didn't like this. So they joined together to start a smear campaign against their restaurant. And slowly but surely, people started dwelling on the raid because of bad rumors and whatnot. Eventually, most of the investors withdrew their money and Joseph's cousin, Charles, was getting belligerent with the remaining, pe that, remaining people that were there. And eventually, Joseph and Charles had a fight and they had a blow up. And Charles said, well, I will draw my money. There's nothing you could do without that. my money. You could barely make it. And it was true. They had about three weeks left with very few investors and Charles withdrawing his money and, and leaving the business. Joseph's wife looked at him and said, well, what are we going to do now, Joe? Joe said, well, we got a place to open up in a little bit, so let's go. So they kept on going. Not many people showed up those three weeks, but they kept on going and they did it with joy and they did it with a smile on their face. On the last day, there was a group of elderly men that walked in and they sat down at the table and the wife served them and said, well, hope you guys enjoy. This is our last day open. And they looked astonished. And when they were served their breakfast, they were eating their breakfast, they were talking amongst each other. One of the men got up and talked to Joseph. He said, is it true this is your last day? He said, yeah, well, we don't have any more money to go any more days, so we won't have to shut down. He said, well, me and my buddies over there, we're all former executives that retired several years ago. We started coming to this place a couple of weeks ago for breakfast because it was so quaint and so quiet, and it was pleasant. We've got lots more friends that would love a place like this. We want to invest into your, your restaurant. How much do you owe? He said, well, it's not, no, never mind. Whatever you owe, we'll get together, we'll cover it. Joseph ran and told his wife, and she they were all astonished. Fast forward five years later, their business was thriving, and even good old cousin Chuck wanted to come back and be a part of it after he saw that they were flourishing after five minutes after five years. Joseph and his wife kindly said no, because they did not feel it was right for him to just jump back when everything was good, when they left away. But they did make him a partner, a silent partner, and they cut him in on some of the benefits because he was an original part of the idea. Today's song of the day is Still I Will Praise by Lucy Grimble. And in the midst of this story, you have to understand there will be people who will be with you. And there'll be people who won't be with you. There'll be people who are jealous of you, who will to say all kinds of things, tear you down and cause the people who are closest to you to walk away from you. But in the midst of the problems, don't let them take away your praise. Bishop Joe Jackson in Washington, D.C. wrote a song a long time ago. He said, after all I have been through, I still have joy. And Bishop Hezekiah Walker has a saying that says there's power in praise. If you got enough, if you got enough power to praise God, God's got enough power to deliver you. Your praise is your weapon. Don't let anybody or anything frustrate you from your purpose. Don't let anything or anybody frustrate you from what you can do. No matter what the circumstances, let your praise carry you through. Let your faith in God carry you through. Let your strength and your belief in God, it may take all you have, but whatever you have, give it to God. Let God bless it and watch it come to pass. Jesus took two fish and five loaves of bread and fed 5,000 men, not counting women and children, and still had 12 baskets full of fragments left. So don't tell me God can't do anything with your little. I hope you enjoyed today's song of the day. I hope you are blessed. I hope you are encouraged that no matter in this COVID-19 time, no matter what's going on, no matter what become coming against you, still take time to lift up your hands, throw back your head and say, thank you, Lord. I thank you. 
for covering me and protecting me and whatever I have, Lord, I will give it to you. I will give it to you with a with a cheerful heart and let you do what you can do in the name of Jesus. Be blessed on today. I love you all. I thank you for your support of this ministry and this devotional. Everybody have a great day. Enjoy today's song of the day. Still I Will Praise by Lucy Grimble. God bless. Sometimes a song feels so costly And worship takes all that I have In seasons of life where it's hard to see And hard to understand That you are still God in the wilderness You are still God in the pain Cause you are the God that is with me when all else is stripped away Still I will pray See